Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through Masterverse. So I'm not really a collector of Masterverse, but when I see this, you know, it's one of the things it's like, ooh, because are we going to get, and we're probably going to get this in Origins. So, but I just wanted to check this one out in person. It is Orco and Gwildor. So, like I say, I know we are going to get Gwildor, but when? You know, I thought Masters of the Universe would probably be finishing by the end of this year. So, but with all these other variations and releases, how are they going to span this out for another three or four years for like ten figures? And maybe bringing out the odd newer version along the way because we're we are moving into the 40 years of she at the end of this year and it's like at least let one line finish you know before the other one comes along but anyway Gwildor, it's not like the Origins art really, so it's not that much, it's just the figures, pictures of the figures on the back and what's coming at, what comes out with the same wave. Been out for a while now, I'm, prob I'm definitely not the first one to review this on YouTube, but let's crack this open, have a little closer look. Now that he's out of the box, loads of articulation. So... His little arms here, they are very soft plastic, very soft plastic, so really flexible. He's got the ball joints on the actual elbows, they do a full 360. His shoulders, his arms by his shoulders, they are also on a ball joint, so a 360 up and down as well. Like I say, that head, I have had to squeeze that bad boy on. But he's on this little pivot stand, which does pop off. So it's just a clear plastic stand. Again, that's on a pivot at the base, pivot at the top as well. So there's a lot of features, a lot of poses you can do with them. So with the stand, it's got a little clip on because he comes with this type of, well, it's just basically two circles <laughs> stuck together. So can clip in, I'm guessing. Put Orko in the middle of it. And just clip in there, let's just get them in straight, comes with a little baggie of other stuff, so let's see there's a little staff in there, oh yeah He-Man's power sword where they upgraded it, that's quite textured that, so amber at the top running into the silver like the chromey effect and then the uh, the dark iron base with the brown handle and then you've got the the key the cosmic key oh which does turn as well we have Gwildor on this piece ah uh, that Torco's as well. So there's a little. So there's this like flap type of material that goes on the back of Orco. There's a little hole. And I've just noticed at the back, just underneath his hat, there is a little peg to attach it. Just squeeze it on. So it does like flap and flow there for display. Let's just arrange them properly. 
So, but then you got Gwildo. This is really the main one I got him for. So, let's see his articulation, his head bobbles up and down, twists left and right. His arms, they do splay out back and forth. He's got an elbow joint, which is cool. He's got a wrist, is it on a pivot? Or is it a little tiny pivot? So it's just to do with that mould there, it doesn't pivot that much. His waist, his waist does turn left and right. His legs, back and forth, splay out. They've got a pivot on the knee. He's got a pivot on the actual feet as well. His little get up. It's proper cool. It's layered. So he's got the little jacket going on. Which I suppose... Could you take that off? So I don't think these are like the Origins where you can pop straight off. Or they're not supposed to pop straight off. But... Little cool. Gwildor. I can't wait for the Origins to actually come out on this. So I'm hoping it's going to be more set to the 80s original rather than all these colours like they've used on the Masterverse type of thing. <laughs> his ears on this, I've just noticed, his ears do actually twist and turn <laughs> as well, which is, that is a good, that, I like that. Now he comes with a little staff. Now it's got a little clear crystal on the top of the staff and it's all like twisted vines going round it as well. So let's slide it. There's, in the middle it goes out a little bit more chunkier so you can put it in his little gripper hand there. And let's try the other one with the sword. So, the sword can actually slot straight in, but he's not going to be holding that sword. It's this cosmic key. So, like I say, that one twists round at the top there, and it's got a little kind of handle going in. So his, uh, his hands, his fingers on his hands are quite flexible so they can push them out and twist so they can get a good grip on those accessories there but there they are guys let me know your thoughts Gwildor and Orko from the Masterverse like I say I'm, I'm not really a Masterverse collector I will only pick up the things that really do stand out for me but let me know your thoughts on this one. Are you into this line? Do you just randomly pick up the ones like I do? Drop us those comments. Which one of these is your favourite if you were to get them as well? While you're there, dropping those comments, do the usual. Would like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one again. And I will see you on the next. Take care. And before I let you go, I was just throwing out all the little baggy rubbishes. And I found these two little whirly gig type of discs for Orco. And I believe they just slot over his little hands there. Yes, they do. For his little magic type of spells going on. So there you go. So a little added extra. So they nearly ended up in the bin. <laughs> Bonus.